and creative singer-songwriter, um, and I am a mum. Um, I've had very, very little education um, past a couple of subjects in high school. That's about it. Uh, come from New Zealand, moved to Australia. So, um, yeah, with a little education, had no um, experience of philosophy or anything like that. But everything that um, I've been gifted has been gifted by spirit. So I was visited from an early age and um, I just kept learning from them and, and was guided by them. So that's a bit about me. Now, last night I had a uh, pretty full-on encounter, uh, well, messages coming through. And uh, these messages are actually for advanced souls. They're not for, um, you know, it's not, it's not the normal uh, messages that are received. Well, the people that will understand them will understand them. I'll just uh, speak them out. I was given three paragraphs. Um, I'm going to start from the bottom paragraph because it seems to go in a better order when I go from the bottom up. Uh, and yeah, this is all that I, I'll speak these out. And then what I'm going to do is because I can click them into videos, I will do three or maybe one maybe one video um, to go with them. I'll just see how it goes. But uh, I'll at least read them out to you now. Uh, I think it's very valuable for the light workers to at the moment because the ones that have come here to uh, help shift other light workers, help gain perspective into the new reality um, and all of that sort of stuff that we're, you know, where we're actually going. So here goes. It is only when one is tired of keeping up an illusional program that creates disharmony, anxiety and depression that one will finally let go and trust in the unknown vortex, that of loving all as one's creational experience or self-acceptance, that the creator is in fact your perception of your reality and one's ability to juggle the illusion of fear, anxiety and depression to create such an existence within one's minds far away from that which one derived from in the first place, that of love. This will, en this will encom encompass, sorry, this will encompass a level of maturity as oneness to work beyond the mind and time and space, to accept all responsibility for the creation that has taken place before being able to shift such reality as an illusion that one, one has, another, has of another being responsible will shatter the ability to shift one's reality altogether. So if I read that bit again, this will encompass a level of maturity as oneness to work beyond the mind, time and space, to accept all responsibility for the, rec for the creation that has taken place before being able to shift such, oh, and then it's meant to be a comment, before being able to shift such reality as an illusion um, that one has of another being responsible will shatter the ability to shift one's reality altogether. So they're saying... Um, you have to come to the point where you ha have absolute all responsibility for your um, reality, including everything, everything that you that is in your existence. Um, there is no, you, you have to stop blaming everybody else for your, your creation. Um, because once you do that, you take resp full responsibility. That means you can shift anything. Ah, okay, so the, the next paragraph they gave me was, we have breaks from this reality in the form of dreams because our soul cannot keep, the, keep up the illusion of the story of life constantly. It needs to return to source of, cre of creation, the edge of your mind, that which holds on to the story in lineal time. It is only when we wake do we access the logical side of ourselves and remember that which had gone before you slept <laughs> and remember what, what had gone before you slept. Sometimes the way they, they write things through, um, channel things through, I have to think about it. Um, the importance of this is so we can experience one moment after another and create the illusion of life. 
But at any given time, this can alter if the logical side of ourselves respects the imagination and allows a shift into that which we desire rather than fear. So they're talking about um, being in a dreamland and the reason why we go into dreamland isn't just, you know, for our bodies to rest, it's also for our souls to rest and our souls need to go back to the edge of um, the mind where it can um, uh, access a whole heap more and uh it's also saying like the importance of this is so we can experience moment after moment. Yeah, so we, um, but then when we come back, we can experience moment after moment in this illusion of life, but then we go into the, the not, you know, where there is no time um, into the dreamland and our soul has a much more freer kind of experience uh, there. Uh, also that our we have to allow our logical side while we're alive, while we're alive, while we're awake, um, to uh, respect our imagination. Um, once this happens, once our imagination has uh, the go-ahead to imagine something new into existence, it can shift um, any sort of story that we have. I think that's pretty much what that's talking about okay so the very first thing that i wrote so this is the first paragraph space time and thought are as one and this is why we have always had the reins to our own existence at the core of oneness there is only you and your magnificence but it is your limited reality of self that pulls you into the illusion that you depend on and exist with others, helping you create this reality. If you truly knew the nature of your God self, you would choose to create only from love and not to follow the shallow illusion of other limited beliefs from other people. This in itself is what will shift your reality into whatever you wish to create and why your imagination is the most powerful tool you can feel into. Your dreams are far off examples of distant worlds you create into existence just by willing yourself to visit such dream spaces. All is the illusion and all is real at the same time. It is only your perception that creates this into reality. So therefore, one's next question could be, is this dream, this story, this mutable reality able to be altered once this, the magnificence is found within oneself? And then a little bit it says, wear the crown with such knowing that all you are is all there is and all will change. Yeah, I love that little bit. Wear the crown with such knowing that all you are is all there is and all will change. They're really sh explaining how to shift our story and they're saying that we need to take full responsibility for our own existence, our own reality, what we've created within our mind, what we've accepted to be true, what we've accepted not to be true, who to follow, what we've accepted who to follow and everything. Um, yeah, it's pretty powerful stuff. So oh, I just saw sure if you guys actually got that so that was what i channeled through and i'll put this into a movie format because when i'm reading it, it's disjointed and stuff like that but i do my best sorry i'm i'm a bit dyslexic but when i channel these things through they just flow so i just write i don't I, there's no mistakes made i just type and it's just done and boom i'm like wow uh, so yeah that's what happened last night and we'll see what the next messages are that we we can use and maybe grow from so love you all guys bye